recommend Tilray Haynes, physical therapist with Live Steady Physical Therapy, right here with hacks to lead you in a strength and endurance workout. Today's class, um, you'll need a solid, sturdy chair, um, as well as two um, weighted objects. So um, I have two dumbbells here. You can also grab um, two items around your house. I recommend a great starting place is having one can of soup in each hand. You can always, too, put down your weights and use um, your body weight. Um, to reduce and avoid injury, CAPS re recommends that you consult with a physician before beginning any exercise program. If at any point during your workout you begin to feel faint, dizzy, or have physical discomfort, stop immediately. Please self-monitor and exercise within your limits. Let's get started. You can do this class in standing or in sitting. I will be demonstrating in standing. Wherever you are, feet are hip distance apart. Ground your feet down into the ground. Lift your chest up. Pull your shoulder blades slightly together. Let's warm up our arms. Bring your hands to your chest. We're going to bring our arms directly out to the side, palms facing forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Come back to the center. We're going to go out in a diagonal. So one hand goes out and out, the other one goes down and out. Okay, back to the center. Let's do the other side. Opening up the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Back straight out to the side. Okay, back to the center. Let's do one each diagonal. Taking a deep breath in as you open your hands. Exhale as you close. One more of each, directly out to the side. Exhale, close. Inhale, diagonal. Exhale, close. Other diagonal, inhale, exhale, close. Good. Hands come down to your side. Let's warm up our feet. One foot steps forward, back to the underneath your hip. Step out to the side, center. Other leg, forward, side. Good, let's alternate sides. So other leg starts again, forward, side. Forward, side. Good. Warming up our legs. Forward, side. See if you can lift your foot up a little bit higher. Getting our legs warmed up. You can start swinging those arms. Good. Keep your chest up the whole time. Meet me back in the center, keep your feet still. Let's put this together. So when we step forward, we're going to put that with our hands coming out to the side. When you step out to the side, we're gonna go diagonal for each side, okay? Bring your hands to the center, let's go together. Step forward, opening up the arms. Step to the side, diagonal. Forward. Diagonal, good, just getting warmed up. Forward, side. So you can really squeeze your shoulder blades together every time you open up your arms, whether it's in a diagonal or straight out to the side. 10 more seconds here. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to the side. Hopefully you're feeling warmed up. Let's start with the first combination of exercises today. So grab your weighted items. We're gonna have them down by our side. So grab your weights. Okay, we're gonna start with a four square step for one minute, working on some endurance. Roll the shoulders down and back. You're gonna step one foot forward, then the other foot forward. Step one foot back and the other foot back to your starting position, okay? So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We're here for one minute, keeping our chest up, holding our weights down at the side. 
Same thing if you're in sitting on the edge of your chair. See if you get your feet up a little bit higher. Awesome job. So this is our first exercise. We're gonna be learning three and then we're gonna put them together. Keep those high steps, both when you step forward and when you step back to the starting position. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet directly underneath your hips. Take some steps so that the chair is directly behind you. We're going to be bringing those, um, so keeping those weights down at your side, we're going to be sitting down on the chair and standing back up. So we tap the chair with our bottom and then come right back up. Let's go, we're here for one minute. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. You're taking this at your pace. You can always place the weights down and push up from the chair if needed. I want you to feel like you're working at a moderate intensity. So maybe going a little bit faster than you might normally choose, but always focused on stability. So always having good balance, leaning forward, and also keeping your chest up. Keep it moving. 15 more seconds here. Chest up the whole time. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keeping your feet hip distance apart, weights are at your side, we're gonna be coming into a calf raise. So that means trying to lift up both heels and come back down. So we're gonna lift up and down. Let's go. We're here for just 30 seconds, lifting up on our toes as much as we can and then controlling, bringing our heels back down. How far you lift up your heels can be different on each side, it can be different day to day. You're just working at a good challenging um, level right now. Maybe you just get them off just a, just a centimeter, that's great. Keep moving, five, four, three, two, and one. Place both feet down on the ground. We're gonna put these through three moves together. It's gonna look like this. You'll do your four square step, You'll sit down, stand up, and then one calf raise. Let's do that one more time before we get into our intervals. So you step one, two, three, four. You're right back, your chair's right behind you. You sit down, stand up, and then try to rise, as, lift up those heels as much as you can, come back down. Okay, let's go. We're here for 90 seconds. You're doing one repetition of each exercise. You take it at your pace, whatever's challenging for you. Chest is up the whole time. And if you kind of switch around which exercise you do on, no problem. We're just trying to do one of each. We're doing stepping forward and back, sitting down, standing up, and then a calf raise. Awesome job. A little less than 60 seconds left. Keeping those weights right down at the your side. Try not to let your shoulders rock side to side, even though you're, you're holding weights. So your, your shoulders are level the whole time. Come on, lift those feet up a little bit higher. See if you can get a little bit more power when you stand up from the chair. We have 30 more seconds. You can always take a break. Take some deep breaths and then come right back in. Throughout this interval, make sure you're not holding your breath. Ooh, I skipped my calf raise. Keep going, we got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Do a big shoulder roll, bring your shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna go into a second series and it's got two exercises. Bring those weights directly in front of you. You're gonna be pushing them together 
If, you're, if you've got cans, push the cans together. Elbows are out towards the side, pointing to the sides of your body. Weights are right at your chest. We're going to be doing a heel dig into the floor. So notice just my heel is tapping the floor in front of me. And I'm going to alternate sides. Okay, here's our heel tap. You can do this in sitting or standing. When you push your heel into the ground, see if you can push those weights out in front of you and then bring them back in as you step that, your foot back in. Join me when you're ready. We're going to be here for one minute, pushing out and pulling those weights back in with our heel tap. Chest is up the whole time. This weight in front of us is gonna to wanna to try to pull our shoulders down. We're not gonna let it. Good, see if you can lift your foot up a little bit higher as you step out and back in, really pushing that heel into the ground, keeping those toes up off the floor. Good. 15 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the weights down to the side, roll the shoulders down and back. We're going to go into a bicep curl. Elbows are in at the side. We're just going to bend our elbows and straighten. Join me. We're here for 45 seconds, lifting the weights up towards our shoulder and then straightening the elbow back down. If you like, you can add a march in place. You want to keep your feet moving. That's an option, okay? I'm going to demonstrate with my feet still, but if you're feeling the march, go for it. Awesome job. Big posture, the only thing moving is your elbow bending and straightening. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights back in front of you, push them together, bring them at your chest, elbows are out towards the side. We're going back to our heel tap as we push out our weight and then pull them back in. Making sure that your feet are never together when you come back to the starting position, right? Feet are always underneath our hips. Join me, our timer's going. We're here for another interval. Chest is up. Imagining you're carrying a really heavy plate. You push it out and then you pull it back towards you. But you don't want anything to fall off that plate, so we're not letting our shoulders dip side to side. Awesome job. Good. 15 more seconds here. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the weights down to the side. Let's get right back into our bicep curl. So keep those elbows at you, along your ribs. We bend the elbows and straighten. Good. We're here for 45 seconds. This is our last big exercise of class. So see if you can really control, not only bring the weights up, but control them coming down. So power up, control coming down. 15 more seconds. Check your posture. Can you get a little bit taller? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Place your weights down to the side. Meet me back with feet underneath your hips. We're going to take three deep breaths together to finish off class. Raising our hands up as we breathe in, bringing them down as we exhale. Let's let this deep breath in. Exhale, bring them down. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring it down. Last one, deep breath in, exhale, bring it down. Awesome job, well done for some strength and endurance today. Join me next time.